Two dudes build chopper. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of moving one step forward, two steps back. Man, in the last episode, I was so hell bent on painting. Painting this bike, painting this bike, painting this bike. I made two major mistakes and I didn't realize it till this morning. In fact, one guy commented in the video, I hate you. But you're right, buddy, thank you. I, two issues. I broke the golden rule of painting. When you're painting, and you're done, don't touch it. Don't freaking touch it. And I saw a little bit of gloss kind of bubbling up over here, and I tried to fix it. And it just got worse and worse, and I just kept spiraling down this rabbit hole of sanding, touching up painting. Now this is really dark gold here, light gold here. So today I'm, I'm gonna do it right, and I have to get into it anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and just sand this part down lightly and blend it all in, try to get that light gold back. Um, I'm hoping to do that because I really want to get my fender done. I want to get my um, sissy bar done. And I want to get uh, my old, my fake old tank of electronics and figure all that out. Because my goal is between today and tomorrow, I want to get this motor back in this bike. I want to put it on a stand and get the motor on it so I can start building everything around it while I'm waiting on tires, the front rim, and all that stuff. But that's not the only thing that I did wrong. Take a good look. Tell me if you see what I missed. You see it? You see it? I didn't see it either. I forgot the mount for the brake anchor rod. That anchor rod goes right here. And what it does is, is it keeps that the brake from moving when you're uh, pushing down on your brake. So it has a, a lever that connects to your foot pedal, and then it has a lever that connects to the brake anchor rod um, so the it doesn't move. And I tried like looking at other options, and some people have mounted them to their fender or not. I was just like, no, just do it right. So I gotta sand all this down and redo it just to put this back on. Oh, that's, that's what I get for rushing. That's what I get for rushing. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything ready, get this sanded, and I, I, I'm probably breaking the golden rule again. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I don't know, man, wish me luck. I'm so pissed off right now. I love how the bike came out, I love it. Uh, but it's breaking my heart that it's not right. I didn't spend all this time doing this and not do it right. So I'm gonna do it right. Even if I gotta repaint the whole thing, which I'm praying I don't have to do. I, if I spray it again, I could just spray it again. It'll make the whole, because it's a, uh, a candy color, it'll just keep making it darker every time I spray it. And I really want the light gold. But if I can't get it to work, I'll do the dark gold and the light gold pieces. And that might look really awesome too. But no matter what, I just don't want it mixed like this. So I'm gonna, Get some heat on, get some sanding, and if you build a pipe, don't forget this. All right, so I went ahead and ground, went ahead and grounded it all down and uh, figured out a good placement for it. So now, just got to get it to stay on there. Nope, don't do that. So I'll tack it. All right. Not too shabby. That looks good. And uh, I also made a decision between me, myself, and I that I'm going to go ahead and wet sand the whole bike down after I do this. And then just do it right and go ahead and repaint the whole thing. Um, I'm not going to have to re-sand all this down. I'm going to wet sand the gloss that's on it. So that way I get a nice um, finished dark gold. And then if I have to, I'll do a light gold with my tanks and all that. I'll do everything dark gold, but um, it's just gonna be too spotty. And I just, I'm being lazy. I, I didn't wanna have to redo do it, but the right thing is to redo it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Not excited about it, not happy about it, but at least it'll look good. And if anything, Oh, well, it'll be right. And then, hey, you never know, maybe I'll really like the darker color. Ooh, I'm hoping I got a good ground. I don't even know if I got a good ground. Ooh, I do. Check that out. Now you'll notice, 
it's really freaking cold in here. And that's because it's like 20 degrees outside. It was like 50 and then went to 20. So I do have the heat on the ground. I'm just turning it off when we're together. So that way you guys can hear my beautiful voice. Because I know how important that is to you. Guys, I'm getting really good at this. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting really good at this. Well, I better be getting good at this because I go to hit that brake. That's going to suck. I'm definitely keeping a front brake on it, though. I know a lot of guys are doing the, uh, just the back. Heck no. That is... Power. That's what that is. Ah, what did I touch that for? Okay. I muted that. Okay. Okay. Keep going. What the? Oh, I'm stuck. That's why. Man, I muted it. Sorry. Oh, let's see how that came out. Should I do the old hammer test? Hammer time? So I'm leaving the heat on while well, I would say this. I gotta get this garage warmed up. The cool thing is I'll turn the value down in the video and just play some cool music for you guys. Maybe you can beat up next year and watch this. You guys see all the glitter everywhere? <laughs> Alright, listen. The reason why it's so sparkly, it's not because of my amazing qualities or my good looks. Um, the <laughs> All right, listen, um, when I did the wet sanding, any of the raw metal areas that, that showed up or some things that needed a little bit of attention, if you don't spray that metal flake on it, it's a candy. It's not gonna cover it. So what I decided to do is just lightly spray the whole bike again in that, just to give it a little bit more flake and a little tint before I put this on. And uh, so hopefully all that will work out really well. So you just have to wait for all this to dissipate and uh, we'll get to painting. So if any of you want to learn how to paint your bike twice, just follow my channel for more tips. <laughs> it's actually coming together really nice now. Just taking my time this time. No rush. Just want to do it right. Get it all even color. That's the only thing with this candy. It's not easy to get it all an even color. You just gotta keep carefully going through it until it does. And yeah, I do move the bike to get the underneath. Just doing one part at a time. I'm much happier now that this is already looking a lot better. That was giving me a... Man, I was up like all night thinking about this. Just bugging the crap out of me, and I'm sure um, if you're watching this channel. You guys are all we're all the same. You know, you put a lot into it. These bikes aren't worth much, but to us, you're—I don't want to say you're replaceable, but man, it's different when you're building your own thing. It becomes personal. And to me, that was looking like doo doo. Now it's looking really good. I'm a lot happier now. I'll be able to sleep tonight. I hope. This paint's really easy to go on, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not, like, you know, I'm kind of just going at it, you know? But I have to keep cleaning this nozzle off or it spits. It spit on me once already. I'm just like, you know what? Leave it alone. God, I've learned my lesson already on that. All right, say I learned my lesson. 
we ever learn our lessons, fellas? Ah, uh, let that dry. You know, hit it again. There we go. Okay, I don't need to shake this up or do it anymore. All right, we are done. Now I can finally move on to something else now that I've done this stage twice. I'm gonna do my sissy bar and my fake oil tank next. That's my plan. And then, uh, then I'm gonna start working on that motor. So I'm not gonna touch it. Not, I already see one or two things that are like kind of bugging me, but I'm not gonna touch it. So Let's get to the next part. I got to let it dry and I'm taking this in the house. I don't want to get, I got glitter everywhere. I'm going to cut to clean my challenger off, clean this whole thing off. I have freaking glitter everywhere, but it looks good. It looks really good. All right, on to the next part. I took the bike inside, let it dry properly. Now I'm going to go ahead and grind this down. I, uh, most of my welds came out really good, but these bones, are extremely difficult to get them to like get in really good on this sissy bar. So I had to make like a giant weld booger to hold this thing in. I'm like embarrassed to show you, but it's, it's pretty bad, but it's solid. I beat the crap out of it. So I try to grind this down and make it look as good as I can. This is going to take some work. I went ahead and got the boogers, at least to be smooth boogers. Actually, it doesn't look bad. And now I got to sand the fender. The fender's brand new. I guess I should have sprayed something on. I went ahead and painted it black underneath because I'm not going to paint it the same color, especially if it's going to be wrapped around the tire. It'll be easier to clean. Um, I gotta sand this bad boy down now, wet sand it and all that good stuff. I think I get this heat back on. It is freaking cold outside right now. I don't know where you live, but it is freaking freezing. Freaking freezing. Yeah, it was 50 degrees all week. And then boom, uh, it's 17 degrees. So I keep having to get the garage up to the 60s before I can paint. Now it's getting the sun gone and all that. It's getting harder to do. So I definitely have to wet sand this because the metal's raw. It's leaving like scratches, and I've got it on light paper too. But I went ahead and smoothed all the edges of the fender where I cut it. That way I don't cut my hand working on it. I've done that a million times. Let's see how this comes out. I'm gonna get all the rust off. If you don't get the rust off, even that surface rust, you don't get that off, it's coming back. I made that mistake several times. I made that mistake on my challenger. 
painted that the first time when I was 20. And every pond and everything, and there was like some rust and all that, and I didn't know better. And that stuff came back six months later. There we go. You guys like my paint boots? All right, so I'm gonna use my heat gun. I keep getting dust everywhere, so that'll keep everything off. Don't touch it. Oh yeah, got it off. I'll tell you what, this paint is awesome. But it is definitely sparkly. Cool though, looks good with the, with the paint. It doesn't show up as good in the camera, but this paint is impressive. And uh, you can buy it on Amazon. I bought it directly from the manufacturer. Sometimes Amazon has uh, better pricing I saw. They just didn't have the color I wanted. I don't want to do too much of this. I don't know, maybe you do. I don't know. I'm acting like I use this tape before. <laughs> It was all pretty even. Pretty easy to use. I think that's good. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to use that heater anymore. The uh, freaking that stuff was everywhere. Well, it kind of still is. for you. I gotta keep the heat on. Check that out. We're doing all this with spray paint. So what do you think? Looks awesome! <laughs> yes it does. Alright so I had to turn the video off uh, because in order to keep the video on I had to keep my heat on. You just couldn't hear anything with the turbo heater on but it was getting really cold so I had to uh, turn the video off, keep the heat on. My uh, The rest of my parts are inside. They look so freaking good. I am really impressed with uh, Custom Cans product and that uh, you, Paul, um, gloss I was telling you about. It's like glass. I haven't even wet sanded this yet. The reason why I'm waiting is uh, Steve and I really wanted to get this motor in and so that way I can start getting everything cleaned up and everything wired up. Uh, I did scratch it. Man, I tried really hard to get it in. It's just, it's really difficult to get these motors in and not scratch everything. But I, I only did a little bit. Again, this stuff can be easily repaired. If you go through the paint though, you're gonna have to prime it again because the flake won't cover as well. Luckily, mine's just light scratches so I can wet sand it, just flake it a little bit, and then uh, go ahead and put some more gold on and re-gloss the whole thing before I wet sand everything. So that's really exciting. So here's my plan now. In the next video, I'm, I'm gonna start wiring it up. I got it on this stand because I wanna run it. I wanna get all my wiring together, you know, I've got a shut off switch, light switches, brake switch. I've got all these things to put on. So before I put everything on, I really want to get a layout for my wiring, get everything installed, figure out what I'm doing with the wiring that goes in here. I mean, I've got a lot to do. So I really am going to focus on this video, wiring it all up again and starting it. So I'm going to go over to Mike's Excess. I got to order my coils. I'm going to do that two in one coil. They do make one for a points. Just so if you're looking at it, you're going to need the one that's over four ohms. Um, I gotta go order spark plugs, wires, a um, few other things. And Mike's Excess is probably one of the best places to buy a lot of the stock 
components from the electrical components. You know, I already have my wiring harness and I shared with you where I got that from, but I will share his information again next week if you need that again. But um, he actually just reached out to me, real nice guy, asked if I needed anything else. And I've got a uh, XS650 drag project. I'm doing an old hardtail drag bike, an old 70s drag bike, and that's gonna be our, our next build. I probably shouldn't have said that, but I'm too excited. So I've already started collecting parts for that. Now that this is getting done, you know how it is, when you get a project close, you gotta get another one. But I am really excited to be driving this thing, really excited. So next video, I'm gonna get the exhaust on. Now I gotta clean it up and I'm gonna try to salvage as much as I can. And the old exhaust is nasty. So I'm hoping I can polish all that. So I gotta get the exhaust on. I gotta get my intake on. Oh, my intake, check this out. So I've been looking forever for on Facebook Marketplace and on eBay and they're really hard to find, but I was watching Shade Tree Surgeon. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Shade Tree Surgeon, but I'm telling you right now, if you haven't, go check him out. He's, uh, he's just this guy that rides around on motorcycles. He does build, and he built this amazing XS650 and then drove it like 1,300 miles, this chopper, this hardtail chopper. And then he drove it on a racetrack. I'm telling you, go check it out. It's really cool. The bike came out amazing. But he did one of those two-in-one intakes, and I was so jealous. So I finally found one. I got to get it all cleaned up, and I want to go ahead and put that on. So I'm going to get my, because I got a new Monk and Carb. Um, I just want to get everything ready. And my next video, I want to start again before we start you know, going into the, the wheels and the tires and the front end. I got so much more to do, but man, if I could hear this thing run again, that would make me feel so much better. All right, so as for the paint, I thought I had a thing for the paints for you. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm jumping around. I'm just all excited. As for the paints, if you want to use that uh, paint I was telling you about, the custom cans, you want to go to this site here. It's custompaints.com. And again, I get nothing from this. These people don't have a clue who I am. But I noticed you really can't buy it anywhere except for Amazon. And there's so many other products that they offer. And you can buy the paints, but you can't buy the flakes. So if you go to this website here, you can buy everything you need and you'll have it within a couple days. So I'm really impressed with them. I might even write them a review. I'm really big on writing good companies' reviews because I just think they deserve it. So this is my plan. I'll see you guys next week. That's all I got. See you.